All right, so in our last experiment, we got to see just how important oxygen is to our combustion reaction. So for this next experiment, we have lots of things measured out for us. In these two flasks, we have yeast and baking soda. So in both of those flasks, we have those. And then in these two glasses, we have two different liquids. They're both clear and we're gonna identify them by the way they smell. So in this flask, we have vinegar. It stinks. I hate the smell of vinegar. It kind of smells like pickles. And in this glass, we have doesn't smell like anything, so I know that this one is the hydrogen peroxide. So vinegar and hydrogen peroxide, we're gonna pour those straight into our flasks. Here we go, perfect. And if you notice, at the bottom of our flasks here, we're starting to see some bubbles. So we've got lots of bubbles at the bottom of our flasks, and we know that if we're creating bubbles, we're also creating a gas. And we're gonna see how our flame reacts to the different gases in each flask. So I'm gonna get this craft stick here really, really hot. We're gonna let those gases form in the bottom of our flask while this gets really, really hot. We want this craft stick to have a nice gold ember on the end of it so that it's ready for us to test it out. So this is burning really, really bright. I'm gonna stick it in this flask and you tell me what happens. What happened to our flame? Our flame went out. But when I take this stick and I put it in this flask, we're gonna give it a second. We want those bubbles to break and release some of that gas that's in there. Give it just a second. Maybe those bubbles will break. Perfect, now we can see that flame has lit up again. So again, if I stick it in this flask, our flame goes out and we still have the heat on the end of our stick. You can see that gold ember. And when I add it to this flask, it lights on fire again. Now it burns even brighter when I stick it in this one. So let's talk a little bit about the different gases that we created in each of the flasks. Now, if you remember in this flask, our flame went out. We added vinegar to this flask and that vinegar had a chemical reaction with our yeast. And that yeast created a gas called carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide is a gas that's heavier than oxygen, so it pushed all of the oxygen out of our flask, and we know we have to have oxygen for our combustion reaction, so our flame went out. Now, what happened in this flask? our flame reappeared and it burned even brighter. We added hydrogen peroxide into this flask and it reacted with our baking soda. That chemical reaction took place and created an oxygen rich environment. Now, our hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. That means it has an extra oxygen. So when that a hydrogen peroxide reacted with our baking soda. It released that oxygen into our flask, making an oxygen rich environment. So our heat that we added to that flask, it was able to catch our craft stick back on fire. So we again can see just how important our oxygen is in our experiment, in our combustion reaction. If we have no oxygen, we won't have a combustion reaction.